Hello. Hello everyone. I'm my thing's being really slow, so I'm seeing if it's working. I came outside because one, it's beautiful, and then I wanted you guys to see the garden. I have uh, lots of weeding to do, if you didn't know. But we have some butternut squash coming up. Our pumpkins are coming up very nicely. We have our tomatoes coming up. We have um, our carrots are starting to seed. What else? And I believe we have some of our corn. I don't know if I planted that too late. But I'm really excited to see this going. But, so now, I'm going to read to you another book today. It's called, The Old Rock is Not Boring. This is by Deb Paludi. And I believe she's also the illustrator. Let me see. Is that good stuff? Being a rock seems awfully boring, said Tall Pine. You sit in the same spot day after day, said Spotted Beetle. It's a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Don't you want to go anywhere? I've flown all over the world and sipped the nectar of exotic flowers. I would surely be bored if I could not fly. I flew once, said Old Rock. Gosh, said Tall Pine. How, asked Spotted Beetle. Rocks don't fly, said Hummingbird. Do rocks fly? No. How did he do it? Old Rock told them about the time in the beginning when darkness was all around. And then I erupted out of a volcano and soared through the fiery sky into the bright light of a new world. Oh, that's how he flew. So, it was just one time, said Hummingbird. And now you're sitting here, said Tall Pine. Being bored, said Spotted Beetle. I'm not bored, said Old Rock. Don't you want to see more, asked Spotted Beetle. If I climb to the tip-top branch of Tall Pine, I might see a deer mouse nibbling seeds in a nearby tree. Or watch ships sailing across the big lake. Sorry. Old Rock said, I've seen a lot. Old Rock told them about the time a group of friendly dinosaurs lumbered by, munching every leaf in sight. Then many years later, a not-so-friendly dinosaur came looking for a meal. Have you seen that? Nope, I haven't seen her. Thanks. They helped hide the tiny dinosaur. Time passed and things changed and the world chilled. Which wasn't too bad, because Old Rock took a ride in the glacier and toured the land. You spot him in the glacier? Once the glacier melted, it left me perched on top of a ridge, and I could see the place where the sky touches the earth. My, you have seen a lot, said Spotted Beetle. How unusual, said Hummingbird. Yes, but that was ages ago, said Tall Pine. Hey, aren't you bored now? Don't you want to move? My limbs flutter gently in a breeze and dance wildly when the wind blows. I've never danced, but I'm pretty good at doing some somersaults said Old Rock. Rock can do somersaults. Old Rock revealed that after teetering on the ridge for a while, the ground rumbled, and I tumbled and stumbled down, down, down into a valley. 
Hi, Aaron. Shouldn't you be roaming? Uh-oh, the mammoth is sitting on him. Grasses grew, Mastodonis roamed, and lakes formed. I never knew a rock had moves like that, said Tall Pine. I wish I could have seen those things, said Spotted Beetle. What happened next, asked Hummingbird. A pine forest sprouted up and around me. One day a strong breeze shook a pine cone loose. From the pine cone, for, from the pine cone a seed fell onto the forest floor. I watched that seedling grow to be the tall pine who dances in the wind and keeps me company. Sometimes a spotted beetle wanders along to report all that he sees, and every so often the loveliest hummingbird spots stops to rest after a long flight, and she describes the amazing places she visited. It's a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Yes, it is, agreed Tall Pine. Very nice, said Spotted Beetle. Not boring at all, said Hummingbird. The end. And this has like a bunch of little information. So let's read about that. 1.8 billion years ago, old rock forms deep under the Earth's crust. 300 million years ago, a volcano a volcano erupted and old rock is blasted into the sky. A hundred and fifty million years ago, old rock chats with the friendly dinosaur. Sixty-six million years ago, the old rock meets a hungry T-Rex. Two point six million years ago, old rock begins a journey in a glacier. Sixteen thousand years ago, the glacier retreats and leaves old rock perched on a ledge. 11,000 years ago, a mastodon stops to rest. And today, an old rock, tall pine, spotted beetle, and hummingbird sit in a very nice spot at the edge of a clearing in the middle of the forest. They are not bored. I hope you enjoyed that book. That's really sweet. I love that Um, it shows the different things that the rock has seen because rocks that come from so long long ago and so I like that but today we'll we are going to learn a little bit not about a rock we did that part but we're gonna learn a little bit about um dandelions if you do not know about dandelions they are very very resistant little fellows a lot of people um can believe to have be them be weeds and if you think about it they really aren't and this, of course, you know what a dandelion is. And when it seeds up and you make wishes and blow the seeds all over the place. But if you didn't know, these are actually edible, even the flower part. Um, I wanted to talk about, like, how, like, how would you eat this? Would you, like, oh, is it gross or is it bitter? Um, I've actually had um, salad with this before. You can also steam the leaves and try it in a stir fry or a soup. And the flowers, these are super crunchy and they're sweet. They can be eaten raw or breaded or even fried to make dandelion syrup or wine. Um, the benefits is it, they're really good for your skin and they are super strong. They grow in sun or shade but um, for the better tasting greens and partial full shade, location is ideal if you want to get the really good ones. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little parched. But uh, did you know that this part is what becomes the seed? The yellow flower head of a dandelion contains a bunch of florets, as you can see. I don't know if the camera is good. In fact, each petal is basically a single flower complete with nectar tube and a single oval the thing in the flowering plants that develops into a seed and um dandelion seeds they can travel for miles and miles and miles before settling down making them particularly efficient flyers well according to the paper published by nature a team of physics or what does it say Physicists, 
confused by English in Scotland have found the reason and a special kind of air bu bubble actually forms around the dandelion seed, which helps keep it up in the air for a longer period of time. Um, the benefits, I wanted to talk a little bit about that too. I have it up a little. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. I had like a good little article up and then I lost it. Oh no. It's really good for your health. I know that. Um, and good for your liver and good. For, you can make it a tea as well. That's actually quite delicious. I like it like that. So I hope you guys actually like that little you know information about the dandelion if you come by to the library we have um the packets ready for pick up if you like to do a craft and it, it will be based off the dandelion that i'm talking about and it's really cute you just put it together and do all the decorating that you want i wanted to show you guys the strawberries now that were right here actually Let's see if I can get a good view. Some. Stella already had some. Ooh, look, those are actually ready. I'm gonna harvest them now. Got it. Is there another one? No, that's not just right. And then over there, our sunflowers are actually growing really nicely. I can't believe it. We got them when they were like at least like four or five inches tall and they're doing great and let's see like i said i do need to do weeding here is our butternut squash for next time i think i'm actually going to make a trellis at some point so they can climb we're gonna have some eggplants over here some corn over here and that is our pumpkin. Our pumpkins are growing. Let's go see how our tomatoes are doing as well. We got these already started and they're looking like they're doing a really great job. What else? Those are actually our tomatillos. We also are gonna be growing green beans. Those have started as well, as you can see. And then we have lettuces coming up, a magenta lettuce. We have our turnip starting to seed. We have white radishes. I'm really excited about that. I don't think I've actually ever had those before. We have a black beauty eggplant and snowy eggplant. And then we have finger eggplants. We're gonna have sweet corn in the back and silver queen corn up in the middle right over here. We're gonna have purple tomatillos like I said, butternut squash, the yellow tomatoes, jalapenos, carrots, and some red peppers. I hope you guys like that. Um, I haven't been able to show you guys in a while. Any Anytime you guys stop by, see how we're doing. And um, also, I made a post yesterday, excuse me, um, about if you and your little one and wanted to come and actually join me in a live video we are only going to be doing one family per live video but we have the summer reading program and then we have the learning garden one so if you want get in touch with me uh, message me through my personal facebook or you can go through the library and we can figure out dates that you guys can come and because i know i miss you guys and we're so used to like actually interacting and doing all sorts of stuff but I want you to know that you can still be involved we'll keep a very safe social distance and we will you know make sure we have some fun while we're here you know so all right get in touch with me if you would like to do that I love you guys good morning now I'm just seeing all your comments um you have a beautiful day and go outside have a picnic or go swimming I think I'm gonna go swimming later for sure but yeah bye guys you have a lovely day and I'll see you um next time remember come back wednesday and friday for the live videos bye